Again the next day John stood with two of his disciples, and looking at Jesus as he walked, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned, and seeing them following, said to them, What do you seek? They said to him, Rabbi, which is to say, when translated teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying and remained with him that day. Now it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Now when Jesus looked at him, he said, You are Simon, the son of Jonah. You shall be called Cephas, which is translated a stone. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Today we are looking at uh, John 1, uh, verse 35, all the way down to uh, 43. That was the passage, uh, 42, sorry, that was the passage that was read today. Today we're focusing in on the first few verses. Uh, so we have here again St. John declaring who Jesus is. Now it's important to know that St. John is really acting as the friend of the bridegroom. St. John Chrysostom points out that that's what happened back then. The, the groom, the bridegroom, remained silent. Uh, in fact, it was the, the friends of the groom who would declare the groom's arrival. He would remain quiet. And this is exactly what we see up until now. The Lord is quiet. The Lord Jesus comes into the scene as the Word, and yet the Word is silent and remains silent. Uh, we, we see John declaring him as the, and testifying that he is the Son of God, testifying that he is the Lamb of God who carries the sin of the world. And one more time today we see him saying, Behold the Lamb of God. Now this declaration to the bride bears fruit. The bride begins to present herself. This love story of, of uh, God and humanity begins to play out. We now see the first people to come to present themselves as the bride of Christ. We see two disciples who were disciples of John coming to the Lord Jesus and presenting themselves as wanting to be his disciples. Now, there's this beautiful exchange, the first words we hear from the Lord Jesus in the book of John. He sees that they're following him, and he says to them, What do you seek? And these, these words are there for us today. What do you want? You see, it's so easy to call ourselves, at least in North America, it's so easy to call ourselves Christians, to call ourselves believers, even to think and to consider ourselves followers of Christ. But the question remains, what are you seeking? What is it that you want? Why do you come to church? Why do you follow him? Why do you name and take on his name, name yourself a Christian? Why? What are you seeking? And the answer to that question, if we were to be fully exposed to the light of Christ, to the light of God, the truth that would be revealed in this answer to that question, would it be a 100% desire to become his, his followers, to become his disciples, to walk in his way, to become one with him, to consider him as our teacher, as our rabbi, as the one outside of us who, who leads our life, the one who is not our ego making decisions for our life. When he says to us, what do you seek today? May we come to recognize the reality of why we may be seeking him, whether it is fear of punishment, or maybe it's hope for heaven, hope for a reward, or maybe it's to keep ourselves feeling good about ourselves, to keep our religious ego 
growing or maybe it's to keep our conscience and our fears at bay maybe we want to be saved from something what do you seek and i love the response of andrew and the other disciple they say to him immediately rabbi this word rabbi reveals that they don't know and isn't that the most beautiful response it reveals that they don't know because they're calling him teacher. He's saying, you teach us, you show us who we are. You show us what it is that we want. And the, their answer is beautiful. Yes, they are teachable. They are now entering into this role of trust. They're saying, you are our rabbi, you will teach us. And again, it comes back to where are you staying? What are you seeking? We want to know where you're staying. We want to know your dwelling place. We want to, we want to be where you are. Once, uh, I believe it's a philosopher that was searching or getting a tour of the desert and he was meeting all these elders and he asks, where is, uh, you know, where is Anthony? Where is St. Anthony? And the response of his tour guide, I think, uh, is really, really telling. He says, where God is, there Anthony is and here these two disciples are saying where are you staying we want to be where you are and his response was come and see come and see not come and uh, you know come and you know just be here for a little come or let me tell you come I will tell you where I'm staying no, he says, come and see. Come and behold with your own eyes. Come and experience. Christianity and being a disciple of Christ is, is a matter of coming and seeing and experiencing. Not listening to words and getting uh, receiving good teaching in a church and, and that's the end of it. No, come and see. We see in, in the book of Psalms, King David says, taste and see how good the Lord is. In the New Testament, we see the Lord himself saying, come and see. And they went and they saw, they came and saw, and there they remained the whole day with him. And we'll see later on that Philip will follow the same model when he goes out to the Nathaniel and says to him, come and see. He repeats the, those words because he had an existential experience of God. He saw the Son of God, He saw the Messiah. May today we come and see the Lord Jesus. May today we come to Him and call Him Rabbi and confess our lack of knowledge of what it is that we want, but we know that we want to be where He is, that His presence is sufficient, that He is sufficient for us, that He is enough for us. May today we come and see Him have a beautiful day.